This is Mr. Hedgehog and His Missing Spectacles. It's by Diksha Palana. One fine morning, Mr. Hedgehog could not find his spectacles. He was sure he had kept them on the log right next to the bog. Oh dear, what shall I do now? wondered a worried Mr. Hedgehog. Without his spectacles, everyone knew he couldn't tell what is what. He looked for them everywhere, under what he thought was a rock, on Mr. Bear's back, which he mistook for a small hill, and around what he felt was a small bush, but they were nowhere to be found. Then he decided to move deeper into the woods in search of his spectacles. For a snack, he wrapped one strawberry and two eggs in a piece of cloth and tied it with what he thought was a green string. He looked up at the clear blue sky and flying there was a blight, brightly colored bluebird. Hello, Mrs. Butterfly, he called out loudly. Have you seen my spectacles? I had kept them on the log right next to the bog. I haven't seen your spectacles and I am a bluebird, not a butterfly. The bluebird reminded him as he flew away. What a strange name for a butterfly, thought Mr. Hedgehog. A little further on, under a big tree, there was a red mushroom. Good mortem, good morning, Madam Ladybug. Have you seen my spectacles? Mr. Hedgehog inquired hopefully. I had kept them on the log right next to the bog, but he didn't get a reply. Mr. Hedgehog moved closer and repeated the question, this time a bit more loudly. But again, there was no reply. The ladybug must be asleep, Mr. Hedgehog said to himself. Soon he came across Mr. Rabbit, who was nibbling at a fresh carrot. What a surprise! A snowman at springtime, exclaimed Mr. Hedgehog, mistaking him for a snowman. I'm not a snowman, said the rabbit haughtily. Eek, shrieked the scared Mr. Hedgehog. It is a talking snowman, and he scurried away from the place. Near a pond, he met Mrs. Quick Quack Quail, who was busy minding her chirpy chicks. Good morning, Mr. Hedgehog greeted. Hmm. Hmm, replied Mrs. Quail. Turn to your right, chicks. Be quick, children, move this way. Keep your eyes to the ground. Have you seen my spectacles? I had kept them on the log right next to the bog, Mr. Hedgehog asked hesitantly. Hmm, Bitsy, Trixie, follow the others. Getting no reply from Mrs. Quail, he continued on his way with a thank you. A little further on, he met Grandma Raccoon. Good morning, Grandma, Mr. Hedgehog said. Are you wearing my spectacles? No, you are mistaken, Mr. Hedgehog. Those are black circles around my eyes. Ah, I think you are curious to know how we raccoons got them, aren't you? She asked. And without waiting for a reply, she took a deep breath and began narrating her story. Long, long ago, when my great-grandfather went on a journey to the land of dragons, and there he met a fiery dragon, blah, 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 when finally the long tail had ended, Mr. Hedgehog thanked Grandma and went on his way. When he had almost lost hopes of ever finding his spectacles, he suddenly heard a voice from above. Are you looking for something, dear friend? Have you lost something? The voice asked again. Looking up, a surprised Mr. Hedgehog saw his friend, Graf, the giraffe. I have lost my spectacles, replied Mr. Hedgehog. I had kept them on the log right next to the bog, but now I can't find them. Let me help you, my dear friend. We will search for them together, said Graf, cheerfully offering his help. They searched for them everywhere, high up on the trees, around the bushes, and in the pond, but they could not find the spectacles. Feeling sad and tired, they sat down. All of a sudden, Graf let out a shout. Hooray! 
I found them. With his spectacles stuck on his spiny back, poor Mr. Hedgehog had been searching for them all over the place. Mr. Hedgehog and Graf had a great time till the sun went down, talking and laughing at Mr. Hedgehog's little funny adventure. Whew. A good friend helps you see where you can't. Thank you, my dear friend, said Mr. Hedgehog, as he gave a big hug to Graf the giraffe. And that is the end of the book. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>